I'm a sign language interpreter and a first time mom. And both of those are connected to how I got involved with KCM. About two years ago, I was asked via email to come and interpret this conference for a few deaf attendees who would be coming. I hadn't been exposed to Kenneth Copeland before, so I thought, well, why not? You know, it's a great opportunity. I get to work with other interpreters who are believers. I enjoyed it more than I could ever imagine, and I've been coming ever since. The changing of the world is happening right here in this room between now and Saturday night. Praise God. I have been married for about three years, and my husband and I have been trying to conceive a child. I had not been successful, and I had heard the story from the doctors about how, well, you're old, you're over 35, and your ovaries are old. <laughs> Pastor Copeland said a series of statements, and he kept saying them over and over again that year. He kept saying, I believe. I believe, I will. I take my forgiveness. I have it, I thank you for it, and I forgive. And I said, God, if there's anybody I need to forgive, it's done. This is what I, I want, what you want from me. So I receive my healing. I knew beyond a shadow of a doubt that I was definitely going to be a mother and that the wait was over. I came back the, next, the following year to interpret the conference again, and I was five months pregnant then. So everybody around me who remembered me from the year before said, oh, you're having a baby. So now those people get to see the manifestation. At the age of 35, Danita Brooks was well into what she considered an easy pregnancy. When medical tests revealed the existence of fibroid cysts in her uterus, Danita's doctors explained that this condition could pose a serious threat to the health and delivery of her baby. When the doctor said, you know, they found a fibroid, I said, oh, don't worry about it. It'll be gone by the time I have a baby. And the doctor looked at me like, no, they don't go away, they grow during pregnancy. It's not gonna be smaller, it's gonna be bigger. And I said, okay. And then I just looked at my husband like, we know. <laughs> and we prayed and we said, we thank you, Father, that just like Jesus cursed the fig tree and it dried up to the root, we cursed the fibroid and it would dry up and die and never return. And this will not be an issue during the pregnancy nor the birth. And at the end, when the doctor finally examined me, she said, now your chart says you have fibroids, but I didn't feel anything. Looked at my husband again. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> oh. In 2011, Danita returned to the Believers Convention to serve again as an interpreter and for the opportunity to introduce eight-month-old Aaron Michael Brooks II to the ministry that supported and encouraged their faith. I became a partner after the first year of interpreting. And every single time I turn on that broadcast, I'm gonna get something that's gonna impact my life for the better. And I'm gonna go out and do it and somebody else is gonna get their lives impacted because I'm not gonna keep it, I'm gonna share it. I have a better understanding now than I've ever had before of how much God loves me. That realization is the biggest gift I could have ever gotten. The baby is a wonderful gift, of course, but the fact that God allowed him to show me how much he loves me is amazing. because I know how much I love that little boy. And if I can love that little boy as much as I love him, and I'm just the person, God's love for me is more than anybody could ever understand, more than I could ever need. And I know that there is not one thing that I want that's in his word that he doesn't want me to have because he loves me.